you've got to include some level of sustainability in your life, like starting now. Like this car. I get 50 miles a gallon, you know what I'm saying? And like not only does it help my pocketbook, but really it's helping the earth. Like I'm using way less gas than like the average like gasoline consumer, certainly in like Southern California. And this is a 1992 car, you know, that I bought for a thousand bucks. So like get off your high horse and like, like do something in your life that's gonna, you know, at least step by step start having positive you know, benefits and an increase in like sustainability of your own personal life. I really am attracted to the idea of having a workshop with all the tools and when an idea comes across your plate you can you can go out and move forward with it. So in high school, I uh, broke my neck uh, playing around in the womp at Wind and Sea. I think I was 15 when it happened, and yeah, definitely, you know, gave me a swift kick in the pants to like becoming, you know, who I would ultimately be, and gave me a, you know, early hint that of where to place your priorities in life, what what's really of meaning, and what's really of value. You know, part of that is definitely, you know, pursuing your passion. And that's, you know, something I, I feel str strongly about. For me at that time, it was it was definitely like photography. It was like, and surfing, you know, and it was like, those were like the two things I was really into. You know, because of that, yeah, definitely was stoked to, you know, buy housing and get into it even more and really like focus on that. That was like, that was everything for me then. And to some extent, it still is now. I definitely have other interests, but you know, photography and, and shooting shots in the water is still a, a big facet of my life and my interests today. I built several housings for myself and even made some for friends, and I had probably built uh, maybe like 12 housings. And then that was the point at which I was like, taking twice as long to make these and they're only half as good and it's like you know what really is like the best housing possible and it was at that time because no one else in the world was really stepping up and using materials that were that would express like the best housing possible and I was like all right I'm gonna be the guy to step up and make it happen for the team and to like hook everybody up and yeah basically just I asked my parents to park in the driveway and basically moved in. I sold all my camera equipment that I had and just with, you know, a couple bucks in my pocket, just started going for it. Word of mouth, you know, you'd make a good housing and the guy's stoked and the next guy sees it and he's like, whoa, what's that thing? The thing looks epic. And it was good times, you know, I was like working like crazy, crazy hours, like 80 hours a week or more. And one of the biggest, one of the biggest things I've learned that really parlays into so much that I think about these days, which is like sustainability, you know, living, living, creating a, a life or a community that's like in line with natural resources. I'm definitely stoked when, when people glean great joy and satisfaction using the, the tool that I created. Ask your parents to park a car in the driveway and like get to it if you're a Grom. You can make it happen like pretty easily. It's all available to you.